Hello, Aquarius. Welcome to your reading for the second half of March, the 16th through the 31st. I am Eric. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to Divine Conversations if you are brand new. If you are returning, welcome back. It is great to speak with you again. So let's just get straight into it. Yeah? All right. Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Aquarians, sun, moon, and rising. Please bring forward the best messages for Aquarius during this time period of March 16th through the 31st, 2018. Keep in mind, guys, this is a general reading. Um, as I shuffle here, I'm just going to do a little bit of shop talk. Uh, I am available on Instant Go if you have a quick question you'd like to ask me. The link to that is in the description box below. I am also available for private readings. If you have something that you would like to discuss, you'd like to have a conversation with me about it, you can go ahead and email me. That link or my email address is available in the description box below as well. All right, so for Aquarius, what's going on for you, Aquarius? I have to say, your last your last reading for the beginning of March, man, you guys really showed up. I mean, that video, I mean, it got it was viewed exponentially more than any of the other signs that I that um, you know the videos for the signs that I had put up. Um, I mean, last I checked, it was like over 4,000 views. I mean, that's insane. So obviously you guys were really resonating with that. So I'm very interested in seeing what we get for you for the second half of the month. Yes? All right, Aquarius, one more shuffle for you, and then we'll cut the deck and get into your reading. Aquarius. Uh, Aquarius. What you got, guys? What's going on? We've got the King of Cups. Um, I feel like this is you guys. Uh, um, well, the first thing I'm picking up here is there are some Aquarians out there that are starting to reach some sort of emotional maturity, which is what I just heard. Um, given the heaviness of what's been going on around you lately, whether you are, um, whether, you know, this, this struggle that you guys have been going through with some other person, whether it, uh, it is you that has acted in ways that has caused them to uh, walk away or move away from you, or, you know, whether it's someone else that has acted, someone here is reaching a level of emotional maturity. Um, and I feel like because it's the king of cups here, I feel like there's some sort of action that's looking to be taken. Um, the king is a masculine energy. So the masculine energies are ones that you know, masculine energy goes out as the doer, it's the go-getter, you know what I mean? So because it's just showing up as the king of cups here, someone, and it may be a water sign, you know, around you um, that this king of cups is representing, but someone is reaching a level of emotional maturity and is looking to take some sort of action around it, okay? Around that newfound maturity. This is your overall energy. Um, we have judgment but in reverse. And we have the page of cups in reverse. Okay, so yeah, but then we also have temperance. Temperance here. Okay, so balance. Balance is, is, is being brought into, into your situation, Aquarius. Um, now we have judgment in reverse and we have the page of cups in reverse. This is not something that's so bad. What I'm just seeing right now with these two cards in reverse is a blockage, okay? Um, there's a calling that's being happened. Now, or I'm sorry, there is a calling that's coming through that is being heard um, on someone's part. Um, in some cases, I am picking up that judgment in reverse is saying that the calling is being ignored in some way. Ooh. My nails. <laughs> Sorry. Um, the calling is being in, ignored in some way. And um, this calling, I believe, is is speaking to 
what, um, excuse me, I got to plug my computer in here. Uh, it, the calling is speaking to this action that the King of Cups is looking to take. Okay. So in some cases, the calling is being ignored. Um, and uh, there's a there's a message. I believe that the calling is to be is to send a message, a peace offering. Okay, because we have the page of cups here. The page talks about messages being sent and and received. Um, so there, the, I'm picking up that the universe, in some cases, is call, in many cases actually, is calling for you to or for someone to reach out and make amends, to try and uh, rectify the situation, um, to in a sense, also take responsibility for one's actions in whatever this situation represents for you. In some cases, it's being ignored. But in other cases, um, it's not it's being misunderstood, like it's not understood. It's like, you want to make this make this peace offering, you want to reach out and make amends and apologize or open a discussion about it and mend fences, but you don't know how to go about it is also what I'm picking up here. OK, um, in, 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 in that case, if you don't understand how to move forward here, temperance is saying to you, just be patient and continue to listen to this calling, continue to focus on this calling and try to understand what it means for you so that you can have a better sense of how to move forward. OK, so that's your overall energy. Let's get into your story. First, we have Ace of Pentacles, brand new start in a material sense. Yes, absolutely. And the Nine of Swords. So here we go. Here we go. The universe is, is handing you an opportunity to start over uh, in this situation, whatever that situation represents for you. But you're up in your head about it. You're, uh, you're losing sleep over it. You're still stressing out about this. And in this case, this is saying to me, whoever is being called to make amends, to reach out and apologize in some way, um, they're the one that is like in this nine of swords energy, like losing sleep, like, uh, God, I, I, I don't know how to do this. How am I supposed to do this? Like the, in some situations, man, in some cases, this, this, whatever this struggle has been that we've been talking about since January, um, whatever this struggle has been, it's been really tough. It's been really strong. It's been really rough. It's been a pretty catastrophic situation in some cases. So it makes sense as to why one would either reject this offer or this, this calling for fear that it won't be received well, or um, be confused or unsure, or unclear on how to move forward. Okay, but um, I mean, you're almost there with the nine. You're almost there. There's an end in sight. It's just surrounding how to accept or move forward with this Ace of Pentacles. A lot of you are confused and scared and losing sleep over it. Next, we have the Five of Pentacles in reverse with Strength in reverse. Um, <clears throat> Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The five of pentacles in reverse is saying to me that, you know, you're moving out of this energy of feeling left out in the cold. Um, but you know what I'm really picking up here is that a lot of you are resisting um, reaching out for help. Your pride and your ego is getting in the way with the strength in reverse. I'm hearing that some of you are uh, some of you, the ones that are um, ignoring this call. Um, in some cases, some of you are ignoring the call because you're 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 convinced you're never going to be able to make amends. This person is never going to forgive you. Others of you, excuse me, I'm drinking my coffee here. Others of you are um, rejecting this call because your pride and your ego are getting in the way, and that's what strength in reverse is saying to me. Um, some of you may have Leo in your chart. Some of you may be dealing with a Leo, um, and in that case. You know, you want to come out of if it, if you're dealing with a Leo here, you're wanting to come out of the Five of Pentacles state of being left out in the cold and reach out. But either you're afraid that their pride is going to get in the way and you're, they're not going to accept your apology and want to make amends and move forward in a brand new start, or, um, well, uh, like you're afraid that their pride will get in the way, or. That's, you just know that's going to be a struggle for you. It's going to be a struggle to, um, you know, get around that prideful, uh, almost egotistical situation with them. Mm -hmm. Moving forward, we have the King of Pentacles with the Fool. Yeah, um, the first thing I heard when the King of Pentacles came out is like, you got this. 
You know, you, you understand the material world, you're stable, you're, you're ready to go is what I'm hearing. And the universe with the fool, coupled with the fool, the universe is asking you to just step into your power, step into your strength in the material sense, and just take the leap. Just do it. Just do it, guys. There's no, re there's no reason to be afraid of this. There's no reason to be afraid of failure. Even if they don't accept your offer, okay. But if, if that's the case, then you still showed up as a strong-willed um, adult here. You know, the king of pentacles, he's very practical. He's very honest. And he's not going to, he's not going to go into it. He's not going to um, deny his role in a situation. He's going to take responsibility for yourself, for himself. So the universe is asking you to just step into that strength, step into the knowing that this is what needs to happen and just do it. Just go for it. And, and, and if they don't accept your offer, then okay, you were the bigger person here, or you were a bigger person here depending on the situation. Some of these situations may, some people may feel like it's just gone way too far to, to make amends. So if that's the case, then all right, cool. You, you apologized. You said your piece. You, maybe you explained yourself a little bit or you tried to get across your point of view a little bit. If they don't accept it, then they don't accept it. But you still did what you needed to do in um, stepping up to the plate and owning up to the situation, right? Okay. Um, Next, moving forward, on your second line, we have the Nine of Pentacles, okay, with the Seven of Swords. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. Um, so here I'm seeing that you, some of you might just be left on your own here. Um, but this is because of the Seven of Swords energy. And this is speaking to those of you that feel like the situation has gotten to a point where amends can't be made. Um, it's, I'm really picking up that this is the other person here. This is the person that feels that they were wronged. And, um, you know, what I'm hearing them say, they're, st they're standing in their power. They're standing in their, um, in their individuality, in their independence. And they're saying to you, look, you have spent too much time devaluing me, devaluing my opinion, telling me what I should or shouldn't do, telling me who I should, should or shouldn't be, whatever. I mean, this is a, a, this is a conversation of independence. It's like, look, I've, I, I've come to a place, this other person is saying, I've come to a place where I'm independent now. You know, I've gotten through all of this and I'm much stronger than I was before. And I'm not going to let you, I'm not gonna let you do this to me anymore. This seven of swords energy. Um, the seven of so you see how this guy is just like sneaking off with two with with five of the swords, but he's left two behind. It's like he's stealing something. He's trying to get away with something. And this person is saying, "You're not going to get away with this again. Fool me once, shame on me. shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me." And I have way more self respect now than to let you or anyone else do this kind of thing to me again. Okay. Now that is the energy that's coming through this other person. Does that mean that you, there is no way to make amends? Absolutely not. You absolutely can come together and make amends. Does it mean that it may take a little more time than you want to or than you than you expect it? Absolutely. It could mean that. But then it could, in some cases, it could also mean that this person is done. I'm feeling distrust here on the on the part of the other person. Um, which which would be why there is extreme difficulty in making amends or there are slim chances in making amends. Um, I know personally, I'm a Taurus and I trust very easily, but when someone, and it takes, it takes time for someone to lose my trust, but once they lose my trust, it's even harder to get it back. Like it was hard for them to lose, lose my trust, but w once they've lost it, it's even harder to get it back. And that's kind of what I'm feeling here. So uh, I'm picking up that some of you may be dealing with an earth sign. Again, that's coming up in the King of Pentacles too. Some of you may be dealing with this earth sign. In this situation and the earth sign is the, the the king of pentacles and the nine of pentacles here are directly related because yes this per other person who if this represents an earth sign this person has absolutely stepped into their power so when it comes to the king of pentacles and the fool your the universe is asking you to step to them and say look and, and try and make amends but you need to understand 
um, following through with the, re the rest of the story, you need to understand that you cannot step to this person with no mess. If you're going to step to this person and be like, look, I, I want I want to start over. I want to try again. I want us I want us to be friends again, whatever. You're going to have to come correct, because if you don't. They're not going to accept anything you have to offer. OK. Moving forward with the story, we have the star in reverse with the two of swords. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. So your inner guidance here, whether it's the Aquarian that has has wronged or it's the other person that has wronged whoever has done something wrong and the a universe is asking them to make amends um you are at the two of swords energy about it okay you have the star in which um the star it talks about healing talks about um following your inner light and so what i'm seeing here is yes many of you whoever has wronged in this situation you are being guided to make amends but with the two of swords, I'm seeing two different scenarios. I'm seeing the first one, which is lining up with uh, the five of pentacles and strength here in reverse. I'm seeing that you're refusing to make, you're refusing to take this step. You're refusing to listen to what your intuition is saying to you, what, you, what um, your inner light is saying to you for prideful reasons um, is just one example. The other thing I'm seeing is the two of swords is speaking to this indecisiveness, this lack of understanding of how to move forward um feeling feeling blindfolded in a sense because you see here this woman's eyes are covered um but what i'm getting here is if you look at the bottom of this card you have the moon okay and um a full moon and to me that's talking about your intuition so really what's being said to you here is in order to understand how to make this step try, rely really really work on relying on your intuition connect with yourself connect with the inner light within you speak with yourself about how to do this okay your your inner guidance can will lead the way for you but again this two of swords energy is is absolutely also talking about talking to those of you that are refusing to listen and if you're if you're refusing to listen to spirit man i don't know what else to tell you if you're refusing to listen to your inner self i really don't know what else to tell you because whatever comes through your intuition through your higher self when you know when you connect with yourself and you get messages those messages are true you are your inner self and your intuition will not lie to you but if you're being stubborn and prideful and egotistical and you're like nah what do i need to apologize to them for you obviously haven't learned the lesson in the situation okay okay Sorry, that's kind of harsh, but it is what it is, guys. Finally, we have the Nine of Cups in reverse with the Eight of Swords. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Look. Um, the Nine of Cups in reverse is talking, uh, especially coupled with the Eight of Swords, but the Nine of Cups in reverse is saying to me that some of you guys are super depressed, super up in your head about it, um, feeling trapped with the eight of swords. And because of it, the nine of cups is saying, you're you're like, I'm seeing over drinking here. I'm seeing substance abuse in order to, to, um, to kill the pain. That is not going to help you, darling. All that does is drive it deeper, deeper and deeper into the darkness where it's gonna be even more difficult to really let go of it, you know, when you finally decide to face it. It's better just to face it now with a clear mind, with a clear and balanced mind than trying to drown it, you know, in substances. The beauty of the Eight of Swords is that you have the ability to get yourself out of this situation. You absolutely do. But you have to do it. You have to make the choice to do it. No one else can cut you out of this but you, okay? I'm feeling like your Aquarian mental capacities are being used against yourself right now. Like you're, you're, you're using your own sense of mental strength and clarity against yourself at this moment. And um, you're drinking it away. You're, you're, you're trying to drown your sorrows in some sort of substance abuse or physical maybe it's too much work um what in whatever case you're drowning it out and that leads directly to those of you that are actively um 
ignoring this call to apologize. You're hearing the call, but then you're trying to drown it out. Saying, maybe if I just ignore it for long enough, it'll go away. I got news for you, buddy. It's not going away. Because if you don't deal with this now, it'll just be kicked. You'll just be kicking the can further down the road and you're going to have to face it eventually. So why not just do it now? Yeah. All right, everyone. So there you have it. Um, the final message in this reading here comes from temperance and it says patience. Have patience with yourself. Have patience with others. Have patience with the situation. Allow the divine to help you. Allow this to just, allow the divine to help you balance this out, okay? You can balance this out. You can heal from this. You can make amends. But you have to surrender. You have to surrender to what spirit is asking you to do. If making amends, if healing from this situation, if putting this situation to rest once and for all is what you desire, then you just have to surrender and have patience with yourself. Have compassion with yourself. Don't beat yourself up so much about it. Everybody's human. We all make mistakes. We're all learning our lessons. We're all walking our paths. You know, I just heard, just let it go and make amends. That's all that needs to be said. All right, guys. I love you so much. Thank you for watching. And I will see you for April. Take care.